Ah, here I am with my coffee and monster. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about something called EMDR. So EMDR is um, stands for Eye Movement Desensitization and Reprocessing. You've probably heard about it before on my channel. Um, I've already posted one video about that. Um, this 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 video is going to come live or be live a couple days after I record it. Um, but maybe maybe I'll have uploaded other videos that deal with EMDR. So I'll tell you a little story. Um, when I was a kid, uh, I had some traumatic experiences with my family. My stepdad was, well, he was frankly abusive. He wasn't like physically abusive. He was. And, well, he was borderline physically abusive. Um, for example, he would, uh, when, when I was in elementary school, if we did something bad, he would give us cold showers. So, yeah. And um, when I was in uh, kindergarten, um, if I peed my pants in the night, I would be forced to wear my wet diaper during school. So if I peed my pants, if I peed my pants at night, my stepdad would force me to wear the diaper to school, the wet diaper, um, and, and so on and so forth. And so um, my, my mother took me to an EMDR therapist. They're, they're, those are real. You can be certified as an official EMDR therapist. Like EMDR is an actual therapy that actual therapists use on actual people. It's very simple, okay? You take something and you just go from side to side. All right? From side to side. And have their eyes follow whatever it is you're moving. You can do it with your hand. You can do it with a pen. You can do it with anything. Um, so you do that and have them run through the memory, whatever memory you're trying to remove trauma from, the traumatic memory, um, and you have them run through it inside their head while you're moving the pen or whatever from side to side. Um, it works. Um, I actually, I went to a summer camp and I tried it on a lot of people and I was known as Jedi mind trick guy. <laughs> It does work. Um, it works surprisingly well. Um, as long as you, you're you willing to talk about the traumatic event um, and think about the traumatic event. If you don't follow the procedure, it doesn't work as well. But I responded to the treatment, and so I was like, you know what? This is easy. You just wave your hand in front of someone's eyes, and I, I EMDR'd myself. I gave myself lots of EMDR therapy. It was, it was pretty crazy. Um, I figured out a lot of stuff about myself, um, and, uh, that was about the time when I went schizophrenic, so, anyways, um, so what I want to do eventually is start some EMDR live streams, um, but for now I'm sticking to ASMR, I'm getting a new... Um, I'm getting a new microphone, uh, it's coming in the mail, um, and, uh, it has two channels, unlike this one, which just has one channel. Am I recording? Yeah, I'm recording. It has one channel, yeah, which isn't very good for ASMR. Um, also, um, role plays, um, I'm not a big fan, oh, someone texted me, this is, I'm not a big fan of role plays um, because I feel they're just, they're never, unless it's ephemeral rift, they're never genuine. They just, they just don't feel right to me. You know, it's like, I know you're trying to differentiate your content, but it just, it's weird. I don't like role plays. Um, also, I prefer, um, male ASMR, actually. 
um, because I feel like it's just it's it's frankly it's just frustrating to watch female um, ASMR like it's frustrating like because uh, most big female ASMR artists are very attractive and when I watch ASMR from them I'm like oh my god you know like I'm, I'm probably never gonna never gonna meet anyone as beautiful as they are and and it just it just makes me feel like an incel, you know. I'm like, this is this is total incel stuff. But I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, like it just it just makes me frustrated. I'm like, you know, I can't I can't handle that. I don't like it. I don't like how it makes me feel. So I like watching male ASMR because it's just it's more calming. I'm not constantly thinking about you know like stuff other than the ASMR. You know, there's some pretty good male ASM artists. Like uh, Fred's voice. Fred's voice is very good. Uh, I like Ephemeral Rift. Ephemeral Rift is really good. Um, ephemeral Rift. Good old Ephemeral Rift. And I also like, um, what was it? There's a lot of others. So like Raffi Taffy. Raffi Taffy is good. Raffi Taffy is a good a good ASM artist. Although he does this too often. I hate that. You know, I hate this. I, I absolutely hate the sound of hand rubbing. Like, ugh. I hate it. That's my only complaint about Raffy Taffy. Other than that, he has a really nice, he's a really nice ASMR voice. So, back to EMDR. Oops. Back to EMDR. Um, I want to do some EMDR live streams. Um, let's put it. Now let's talk about metaphysical surgery. So, metaphysical surgery is where I manipulate someone's aura with my aura manipulation tool. I have never actually tried it on someone. Or had them lay down, and I'm like, I'm going to perform metaphysical surgery on you. But, yeah. I don't know if metaphysical surgery works over the internet, though. There's this one guy, Shaman Oaks, you can look him up. He does uh, spiritual healing sessions, like, a, a couple times a week. Um, it doesn't do anything for me, but that's probably because I, I've already, like, I have a very high tolerance to spiritual phenomenon um if you want me to do some uh online metaphysical therapy all right so let's test something yeah if you've watched this far you're probably willing to do some tests with me all right i'm gonna form a ball of orange energy here now I don't know what the hand motions are for. I don't think I need to use that. Anyway, so I'm just going to... I'm going to send happy energy through the camera. Whew. Yeah. I just sent happy energy through the camera. And if you feel significantly happier, tell me. <laughs> yeah. If you feel significantly happier... Although, in order to know if this really does work, we would have to um, do a real trial. So that would include a control, that would include randomly selecting groups, double blind. And the problem is that legitimate researchers, they don't jive with this kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like a legitimate, re I don't think there has been any legitimate research into psychic healing phenomenon. There, there might be. I could do a Google, Google Scholar look up and say psychic healing phenomenon, but I've never, I've never heard of a paper that is confirmed. There may be papers that deny it or that um, disprove psychic healing phenomenon. But I have communicated with people telepathically. 
Like, I've done it, and it works. Although, if you're not high, or if you're not schizophrenic, or if you're not in an altered state of mind, let's put it that way, it's a little bit hard to get a good signal. So in order to get a good signal, a telepathic signal, you have to be in an altered state of consciousness, whether that be natural or artificial. Altered states of consciousness, however, come with a lot of baggage. Like, you know, psychosis. <laughs> Oh, God. My camera froze. Well, uh, I hope you don't mind that this video ended a little early. I don't want to re-record the past 10 minutes, so I'm just going to post this video as is. I hope you don't mind. If you've watched this far, I, I think you probably won't mind. <laughs> yeah, well, this camera is not very reliable. Yeah, it's not very reliable. Anyways, I'm not going to try.